Alright everybody, welcome to the first episode on the D35. Well, after the after the video of us getting it. Um, sat here for a couple days because uh, I've been busy at school. But it's finally time to get working on this. It needs two things right now. It needs a new valve cover, well, new valve cover gasket. But on these you gotta replace the whole thing. And then it also needs a, a Y pipe, I believe. So, I'm gonna get this thing in the garage. I'm gonna pull the Miata back out and uh, swap these two cars basically. So, we're gonna have a look at the exhaust and see exactly what we need to order so I can get that uh, on its way and then hopefully get this thing back on the road soon. As for this thing, all it really needs, I just gotta throw these wheels back on and get the top, uh, soft top back up. So, see you in a minute. You can hear me, but uh, we got both cars out right now. Just had to jump the uh, the G35. Had a dead battery. Somehow this Miata, uh, I didn't charge this battery at all over the winter. It started right up. Crazy. But uh, yeah, so I might take this around the block real quick and uh, just let it get up to operating temperature, and then I'm gonna pull this thing in the garage. G35 in the garage. It's actually, uh, I was surprised how well it fit. I was worried it was gonna be too big, but it's just perfect. Then I got the Miata out here now and I threw a little tarp on it just to keep it keep it safe, especially since the soft top is it's too cold for the soft top to latch back on. So yeah, yeah, we got a nice little setup here. Now I'm gonna start jacking up the G35 and take that exhaust off. Car is on uh, jack stands now. Finally got to get take a good look underneath. Let me grab the light. This thing's in pretty good shape. As you can see, not a lot of rust at all. It's pretty pretty crazy. Thank you, Nissan. Look at this oil filter placement. Got the oil filter here and the drain plug right there. Can't get much easier than that. Coming around to the side here, I think that is the source of our leak right there. 
Um, that's the Y pipe, as suspected. But yeah, I believe that's where it's leaking from. Oh yeah. Confirmed leak. Let's see if these nuts come off. There we go. Easy. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna do the other side without filming it because it's kind of hard. Alright guys, well here's another look at the Y pipe. This is the part that we're going to need to replace. But, you should be able to see that right there. That hole right there, that's what's causing that uh, big loud noise. As you can see underneath, we got the cap back. Well, a little bit more than that, but yeah, I think you call that a cap back. Right there, and then the two cats. But yeah, that's the source of our problem right there. So, time to order a new one. Alrighty, it's now a couple days later. We got our new eBay uh, Y pipe that just came in. Actually, looks pretty decent for what it was, but yeah, we're gonna be replacing this old guy right here with a brand new shiny one. Alright, we just got the surfaces kind of cleaned off a little bit, hit them with a wire wheel for a second. So now we're going to just throw this new Y pipe on here. Just reusing the same bolts that are in these and then we have some new nuts for it. And then back here I've got new hardware as well. So here it goes. Just got the exhaust put on. It was a bit of a battle to get this thing to fit, but I mean, that's kind of expected when buying eBay. Uh, let me get a better look. Yeah, we got some uh, anti seize on the threads too. Just if we ever have to take this off again, then it doesn't rust too bad. But yeah, there's the Y pipe on there. Like I said, it was a little bit hard to get that on just because it's an eBay and it doesn't line up exactly right, but um, I ended up just using like some clamps to try to clamp it onto the, the studs and it ended up working out that way. So can't start it up right now because I've still got to replace the valve covers and stuff on this. Um, but uh, yeah, another thing I need to do on this is put new ball joints in there. I don't know if you can see them. Where are they? The boots on both sides are looking a little bit worn out. So, I mean, while I got it in here, I may as well replace those. So, we're gonna get started on that tonight. Uh, I'm just gonna take the wheels off and, I don't know, we'll see how far we get, but probably finish it up tomorrow. Alright guys, we're now a couple days later, and as you can hear, this thing is running. Got it all put back together. I actually ended up having to do the uh, the valve cover gasket, so that's kind of what, uh, what delayed the process a little bit, but I'll put some clips of that right now. film a ton of that just because that's just like basic maintenance I didn't really think you guys would enjoy that too much and I kind of want to just get it done um, but yeah I'm gonna give you some exhaust clips now that this is all done
that's gonna be it for uh, for this one. But honestly, I don't think it sounds too bad being a VQ and everything. But I don't know. What do you guys think? Uh, that's gonna be it for this one. Definitely more updates on this coming soon. As you can see, it's still very cold and snowy outside, but we're still getting work done. Uh, just a little bit slower than normal, but yeah, stay tuned. We got a lot planned for this.